think um, Solomon Hill obviously gave you a big lift there, made several winning plays of just simple things. Could you just comment on his contribution? You just said it. <laughs> Could you say it? Then? I can't quote myself. <laughs> sure, I can say it. Uh, Solomon Hill um, gave solid contributions, made winning plays, hustle plays, uh, switched out on a hard a few times, uh, got deflections, got on the floor for loose balls, won a jump ball. Uh, I think he had a, an offensive rebound put back or a finish in, in the lane, you know, when we were spread. And a um, big part of the win. Seems like, well, first of all, what does he do defensively that others does? Because he was, you know, forcing Harden to give up the ball or deflecting it from him, that kind of thing. No, oh, he's got great defensive instincts. I mean, he's got long arms, um, a great reach. Uh, he's very physical. He's very strong, you know. So, um, and he's got good size and good feet. So he can keep, keep people in front of him and uh, use his hands to get deflections. Seems like he presents kind of a dilemma for you. You know, recently you've played him just a few minutes at times, but other games he's absolutely essential. Is it, I guess it's a good problem to have in a sense, but is it still kind of a, an issue for you to like, what do I do with this guy? No, we, we need everybody. And, you know, a lot of it's going to be dictated on matchups. And uh, like tonight, you know, he didn't play hardly at all last night. We needed him tonight. You know, we needed him, uh, you know, with this matchup. They went small and, came in and made a big impact for us. But don't you feel like you need him every game if he can do things like this? Yes. Uh, we talked about three-point defense before the game. Were you pleased with that today? Uh, yeah, I thought they missed some open looks, but um, we did a pretty good job scrambling. Would they end up seven for 33? Um, you know, Harden creates so much, put so much pressure on the defense, you know, for you to guard the paint and get out to the three-point shooter. He's such a good passer that um, yeah, I think it was pretty good. Back to Solomon Hill, um, are, are he's getting, are he, is he getting these fourth quarter minutes um, knowingly, like before the game he knows he's going to be able to? I told him before this game he would be a big part of it, yes. So typically he goes in knowing that he has to stay ready? Yes. All right. Um, to the third quarter, uh, how did the Rockets get off to it? They went run? small and, um, you know, they went on an 8 run uh, while we were big. Then we countered with a small lineup and, um, we were a little bit disjointed like we've been all year with a spread lineup. Um, we were a little, little disjointed offensively. So, um, and James Harden got going. Just he, he did what he does. He had a 15 point quarter. And, um, you know, we just uh, we struggled to contain him. They got back in the game. It was a 48 minute game. You know, I mean, um, it's going to game and runs. We made the final one. Um, Solomon Hill's not, you know, what you would consider a traditional stretch four or spread four, but the role he played for you tonight was was that role. Um, are you comfortable with with what he brings? He's a with great that lineup. He's a great, you know, you say he's not a traditional spread four. He's a great defensive spread four. You know, the ability to switch, the ability to blitz. Um, he can guard point guards. He can guard fours. You know, uh, in the post, if if uh, they're going to post him up, any rebounds. So in that regard, he's he's really good and. You know, he's, he's learning on the offensive end to just stay within. You know, he knocks down the open threes, doesn't force him, but he can make plays off the bounce. As you saw a couple times, he had some dump-offs to, I think, Yamahimi at the basket, and uh, he's a good cutter and crusher. So can he create a matchup going forward that you might be comfortable using where you're not trying to match another team and actually trying to create a problem for no, we'll a bigger see. team? We'll see. I mean, I, I think, uh, you know, his strength is, is guarding those, those spread forwards, not creating offensive matchups. It's still a long way to go, but how important was tonight's game as far as this Eastern Conference playoff race? Very important, especially after last night. We, I thought we played really well last night. You know, we gave up too many cuts, but for three quarters, you know, we played with the, the motor and the energy that I wanted to see us play against uh, Philadelphia and against New Orleans. I thought we played that way. And I was disappointed for our guys that they didn't get rewarded with the W because we, we didn't play well in the fourth. But, um... You know that could go either way. You could have a you know a loss hangover when you come in, you know sluggish and disappointed, or you can get back after it. And uh, you know we got back after it, so we played seven out of eight uh, strong quarters the last two days. Is it too strong to say that the playoffs start now, or how would you characterize this final stretch? I feel like we've been in must wins for a month now, <laughs> so they're all important. Frank, what did you feel allowed you guys to pull this one out in the final minutes tonight? 
Well, we made we made winning plays. You know, we exhibited our our, our will on the offensive end. Um, you know, we talk about when it becomes important enough for us, uh, we'll we'll get the job done, and uh, that's what we did. We figured it out. Uh, we we are not really a spread team. We had to match what they were doing, and um, you know, like just all the things we've been talking about. Solomon Hill made good plays. Um, you know, we we switched the match up on James Harden. You know, bringing either Solo or Paul George on him, uh, give it a little more length. And, um, and George did a good job most of the game on him, but we just made more, more uh, winning plays. You went eleven. I'm sorry. <laughs> you went eleven deep tonight, which you know I guess you don't really like to do. But is that something you can see going forward? Yeah, it's Grant? it's unconventional. Um, you know, we we know when you know a team may go small. Um, I want to get Solomon Hill in there. Uh, you know, a little bit in the first half, just to uh, to have him available because you know you may need him late in the game. I, I don't like the idea of a guy doesn't play until uh, late in the game, and and all of a sudden you got to throw him in there with five minutes to play. So um, we want to get him in there. We want to get Lavoy in there if they're big. You know, with Monte Yunus at the four, Lavoy Allen makes a lot more sense. And Lavoy Allen in the first half was was great. By the way, his energy was really good too. So you know, we need everybody. <laughs> 